down here at the Patapsco River. We got some uh, flooded conditions due to all the rain we've been getting. Fast waters, a little bit more muddy than usual. Uh, I think I'll still be able to pull out some smallmouth if I fish uh, the correct places. Hopefully you guys learn a thing or two. And I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Joshua Yang for correctly guessing how many bass I caught yesterday. And uh, it happened to be my first skunk of the year. It happens to the best of us and uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. We'll see you though. Oh, let's go. There we go. First fish of the day. Smolly too. Ah, man, it's been tough. It's first fish in like an hour. Mm. Little baby Smolly. But at least I figured something out. Oh, there he goes. All right. Fishing a square bill. I moved uh, way down from where I started at the dam. I'm just trying to find some slower moving water. It was way too fast up there, and as I move further and further, it's slowing down. So hopefully, I can start finding some more fish. There's one, another one. All right, bluegill. Or actually, this is a uh, what is it, red breast sunfish. First time I uh, hooked. That's a nice one too. Big one. I'll take it. Getting some action now. See what else we can find in this little creek. All right, I'm gonna try to make my way across. Try to get over here to where uh, there's a couple nice eddies. I know there's some fish, but the question is whether I can get across without uh, getting destroyed. We'll see. Making my way across. Just turn strong. Gotta go where the fish are, right? Ah. Woo! Man. This current's really fast, not gonna lie. I should probably have this GoPro in this waterproof casing. YOLO, baby. Ah! 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 Oh! Jeez! Ah! Good gracious! I need to do more leg presses. Almost there. Oh. Gotta get on top of the rock. Got home free. Ah, there we go, baby. Woo! Ah! Let's go. Beautiful. Put down my walking stick. Save for the return trip. Time to get some of these fish. Hard work. I needed that. There's a fish. Yes, victory. Yeah, finally. Woo! On the tube, Smalley, baby. Oh my gosh, Woo. been out here for almost three hours, been fishing this spot for about, for about uh, an hour, probably about an hour now, and uh, I missed two nice fish, much bigger than this little guy, on the tube, uh, finally hooked one up, but anyways, whenever you're fishing, uh, this is like a perfect situation area for smallies to stack up and, and to throw a tube. You got, the reason why I'm able to stand in this water is because uh, those rocks right there are breaking up the current to my left and my right over here. 
So it's way too fast to fish in here, but if you just fish along these edges where it's a little slower, let the tube, tube is a perfect crawfish imitation. You let that tube drift down, and these smallies are gonna nail it. Anytime you're fishing for smallies, a uh, tube is one of the best baits you can use. As I mentioned earlier, it's a uh, great imitation of a uh, crawfish. And anytime you're fishing moving water, like a river or a creek, uh, crawfish are gonna comprise over 60% of a uh, smallmouth diet. So when you want to fish a tube bait, the best way to do it is to uh, cast upstream and let the uh, bait drift naturally down, down with the uh, current, hopping it along the rocks and ticking the rocks, making it look like a uh, crawfish trying to uh, flee away. And any active smallies are going to be facing towards the current, uh, looking to feed on uh, anything that drifts by. The key um, to fishing the tube bait is to select the right amount of weight. If you select too much weight, um, the bait will sink straight to the bottom and get lodged between some rocks. If you select too little, it uh, won't get near, it won't be ticking the rocks and it won't look uh, like a natural crawfish trying to um, trying to escape from something. And even if the uh, water is murky like we uh, have today, we have about probably about a foot or a little less of visibility, a lot less than normal. Uh, don't be afraid to throw the tube because. Uh, these smallies know how to locate crawfish under any conditions. Whew. I'm about to call it a day. Out here at the Tapsco River, average less than one fish an hour, but I still had a blast. Creek fishing is some of my favorite fishing. You get to be close to nature, you get to hike, explore. And uh, today I was actually forced to explore uh, further down than I ever have on this trail because the uh, up towards the dam, the, it was just way too flooded and fast. So I walked all the way down here, found this uh, awesome new spot. Even though it didn't produce very well for me today, uh, I'm pretty confident that when the water clears up, there'll definitely be some uh, nice smallies hanging around this area.